Hello everyone and today we're going to talk about the state of Xbox emulation in 2021. Now Xbox emulation it's come a long way, uh, particularly in the last few years. Um, there's quite a few very good options out there and uh, there's three options in particular uh, if you're interested in playing original Xbox games on modern hardware. And we'll talk about the first option uh, which is the official option. Uh, which is again the Xbox emulator which was developed by Microsoft and is available on the Xbox One and the Xbox Series consoles. Now this emulator, it does take the approach of being a bespoke emulator for each game. Now the gameplay footage that you are looking at right now is, the, is Star Wars uh, Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Um, it is running on an Xbox One X. This is one of the Xbox One X enhanced games for the emulator. So 4K you're getting, the scaling up to 4K there, uh, which is nice. And again, most of these games do run flawlessly, uh, which is again excellent. Some games have had enhancements. Again, some games have had Xbox One X enhancements, which you will get on the Series X as well, I should point out. You won't get them on the Series S though, because... The, the Series S follows the Xbox One S's code path. So if it says Xbox One X enhanced, it'll only be available on the Xbox One X or the Series X. I know it's confusing because the Series S uh, should be able to run these games in 4K. Um, there's, there's no real reason other than just Microsoft being Microsoft. Uh, but I do like the fact that, again, um, you know, Microsoft at least are supporting their older games. Uh, the other great thing about this emulator is... Yes, the games are available digitally. You can buy them from the Xbox store, but if you own a disc, the original Xbox disc, you can put it in your Xbox One or your Xbox Series X. Can't do it for your Series S though, because it doesn't have a disc drive, an optical disc drive. That's a bit unfortunate there, but if you put the disc in your Xbox One X or your Xbox Series X, uh, it will go and it will download the emulated version of that game because it won't run the game from the disc that's the thing it won't run that retail disc it'll go and download the bespoke emulated version and it will play it the disc will be used as drm you're gonna have to put the disc in you can't just sell the game after that and then boot the game an, an infinite number of times uh, so you're gonna have to use the disc just as drm because i guess it reads the disc reads the disc id uh, checks if it's in the database, that's important as well. It won't just play any original Xbox game, which is a bit of a shame, uh, really, um, to see that. Uh, but, you know, um, the compatibility list is a bit short. That is one of the major drawbacks. But the games it does play tend to play flawlessly. And it is a very good emulator. So the official emulator on the Xbox certainly has to be, it has to be applauded there uh, from Microsoft. And again, letting you play your original discs is a very good move. It's a very good move. Um, what I feel is, is great because again, they could have done it so that you, you could, you know, you had to buy the game again digitally, which, you know, given more the state of the games industry these days, the video games industry, uh, that, that wouldn't be surprising if Microsoft, uh, all of a sudden required you to do that. Uh, but they don't, so I think that's a good move. It's a very pro-consumer move, um, being able to put your discs in. Uh, Microsoft have said that it does, doesn't does require any input from the developers of the game. Uh, it does require, they do need permission from the publisher to sell games again um, again on, on the Xbox store. Uh, so there are limitations, games, licensed games, th things like that can't be re-released, so... Going official does have, again, those kinds of limitations there because, uh, again, they need the publisher's permission to republish the game. Although minimum input work from the publisher and the developer is required because Microsoft developed the emulator in-house and develop it to work on, again, the modern Xbox consoles, the One and the Series consoles there. Right, so if you're wondering uh, the other two options which are available, and they are available on the PC currently at this point, there's no other like Android builds or anything like that, although the hardware requirements for original Xbox games are on the high side at the moment, so I guess you can't really do them on Android devices yet. 
Uh, although Dolphin you can do on Android devices now, GameCube and Wii games you can do on a lot of them now. So hopefully that gets you know gets to further develop. Uh, so the first option on PC is CXBX Reloaded, and CXBX has been around for a number of years now. Um, the project was kind of abandoned, but it has been picked up again, hence the name CXBX Reloaded. And CXBX does a decent job. It has quite high accuracy uh, in terms of its emulation. And it also allows things like resolution scaling. You can run up to 4K uh, resolution. I think you can go up to 8K, I think, is the highest resolution scale that you can go to. But you can run at 4K, uh, which is nice as well. Uh, the biggest, the, the downside to CXBX is that it does, it, the compatibility list isn't great. The accuracy is there. The games that run, run pretty well. Some of them run with minor issues, as you can see. Um, we're showing you, we'll do Buffy the Vampire Slayer because it runs near flawlessly there. That's quite an underrated uh, original Xbox game, uh, Xbox exclusive, uh, original Xbox exclusive game. Uh, again, difficult to publish nowadays because they don't know who owns the rights to it game wise. It was published by EA um, on the original Xbox, uh, but they probably don't own the rights to it anymore. So, you know, who know who knows uh, whether that could ever be released. It's nice to get games like that working. The biggest thing about CXBX, though, is a lot of the, the games that you would want to get running on it. I mean, Halo is one of them that doesn't work on CXBX Reloaded. And when I think of the original Xbox, I think of Halo as its signature game. Um, but, I mean, it's a bit weird. Imagine a, an N64 emulator without that the couldn't run Mario 64. Super Mario 64, imagine that. Or a Mega Drive emulator that can't run Sonic the Hedgehog. It's just when, when I think of Xbox, I think of Halo. I mean, do we need a copy of Halo uh, running on the PC? No. But... Because you can already get Halo. There's two versions of Halo released on the PC. There was the 2003 port that was done by Gearbox Software. And there's also the Master Chief Collection as well, which gives you Halo Anniversary, which is available on Steam and on the Windows Store via Xbox Game Pass as well, uh, if you have that on PC. So we don't really need it, but it would be nice to see it running. Uh, but the games that do run on CXBX run really well. And again, the scaling works well. I have a, an RTX 2070 Super, and I have no problem running any of the games at 4K. If you're into vampire games, they seem to have them. Like Buffy runs fine. Blood Drain's another one that runs flawlessly on this. Uh, so yeah, the early 2000s were full of like vampire games and TV shows and movies. Uh, where people with wore long trench coats, I remember. There was a thing for that. There was, there was a time for that in the early 2000s, wasn't there? I blame The Matrix. The Matrix was the thing that started that, I think. You know, you had, like, uh, Buffy didn't really have a long trench coat, but characters like Spike and Angel did, and then you had Wesley Snipes and Blade. You know, again, it was just, just, just you know, part of the time there. Um, <laughs> okay. There was a time every everyone wore long leather trench coats in the early 2000s and it was inspired by things like Buffy and vampire things and the Matrix as well as we mentioned earlier. We've, we've gone off topic here, let's get back to CXBX Reloaded then. It just reminded me just playing those, you know, playing Blood Rain. I don't have any footage of Blood Rain unfortunately. Uh, but just reminded me there of, you know, games that, <laughs> just the times there, uh, playing those games. Uh, but yeah, CXBX, uh, hopefully again, compatibility can be patched in uh, to it with future updates. Uh, again, we just hope that, that that is the future. But the accuracy is good. I mean, as long as they've got the accuracy for the games that do run, run pretty well. And some run with very few flaws. And that is a good thing. Uh, the third and final option is Zemu. Now, Zemu is there. It's got a very high compatibility rate. It's over fifty-five percent of games are playable, whereas I think it's about thirty percent of games are playable on CXBX. So it does have a lot higher compatibility rate. Uh, there were downsides. It just recently got uh, audio support because you could play the games, but they had no audio. Uh, the more one of the more recent updates added audio support, so that's good. Uh, resolution scaling not available as of the recording of this video, uh, but it will be coming soon. Uh, it is in the update um, pipe in the pipe pipeline for, for an update uh, so that's good uh, so having to play the games at native resolution is you know it's something that um, is a bit of a downside um, but 
getting getting more games that are just playable is nice to see here again it does take a little bit more setup work uh for cx for cxbx you just need the emulator and that's it uh, for Zemu, you need or Xemu, or whatever you want to call it. Um, you need, you need the hard drive image file. You need one of the BIOS files as well. Uh, so you do need to get them uh, to get the original Xbox uh, up and running. Uh, but the advantage is the all the also the other big thing uh, with these two emulators is they use different file formats for you to load. CXBX Reloaded. Uh, you have to use the XBE files. If you download a file, it comes in a folder and it'll have all the other files and it'll have a file called default.xbe. Now, XBE stands for Xbox Executable. It's basically just the equivalent of an executable file on the PC. Uh, it's just a file that executes the game. Uh, so CXBX requires you to load that, whereas uh, Zemu requires you to load a iso file which is a disk image file uh so this is kind of, it's kind of annoying though because most of the games if you download a game uh where from a rom site or whatever um you will get it most of the time they're in xbe format uh which is fine if they run on cxbx but if you want to run them in zemu you have to get a converter uh, luckily there is one i use xiso uh, which is quite nice it converts the uh the the files because yeah, you get all the files in different folders it's basically it looks like a pc game if you go in and inspect the pc game you'll find like all the audio files and the level files all there and then you'll have the default usually it's called default.xpe uh that will run the, the 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 game but i mean what you have to do is get the folder and make it into an iso so instead of like panzer dragoon orta You'll have, pa you'll have the Panzer Dragoon Auto folder with the default.xbe file. And if that does, I don't think that does run in CXBX. Uh, so if you want to run that in Zemu, you have to convert that, that folder uh, into an ISO, which contains all the files in the folder, and it will run uh, fine in uh, Zemu. Uh, so it is a bit, a bit of a pain there to have to do the conversion process. Um, so that is something to consider. What I do is... When I get a game, download the game, I'll test it in CXBX. If it works, I'll leave it as XBE. If it doesn't work, I will then convert it to Zemu. And if it if it work if it didn't and then it works fine in Zemu, then that's fine. It can stay as an ISO, and I can delete the uh, the XBE uh, the folders really uh, and keep the ISO because I know it works. Uh, so I go that's that's how I go with it. And again. Compatibility is looking a lot better than it was. I think that it's not quite in the position, you know, something like PCSX2 or Dolphin. But again, Dolphin and PCSX2, they've been in development for at least... Dolphin's been in development for, what, 17 years now. Dolphin is a very complete emulator. So I would like to see... What I would like to see is more um, Xbox, original Xbox exclusives be compatible. There are certain games that just don't run well. Uh, I'll show you Brute Force uh, running, um, and again, that just it just doesn't run well. Brute Force was quite an underrated game on the original Xbox. It would be nice to see that running uh, well, because it's not been released on any other platform. That's the thing about Multiplat games aren't a problem, like Time Splitter's Future Perfect here. It says playable. I mean, it kind of is playable, but there's a lot of slowdown, as you can see from the footage. Uh, it would be nice, uh, again, to see get those games playable. But if you want to emulate Time Splitter's Future Perfect, uh, then I would uh, recommend Dolphin or PCSX2 um, as an emulator, not the original Xbox version. You can't emulate Xbox Live either at the moment, so maybe that's something that could be looked at as a future or some online multiplayer, because I know you can play online multiplayer, you can play like Dolphin online, a lot of emulators have online sort of connectivity support, um, so that would be something interesting to see for the future, but it's nice if we've got two emulators kind of competing, because in the end, competition's good in the emulator space, um, it's nice to see you've got two different kind of things there. Uh, and hopefully, you know, hopefully it works out well for Xbox emulation because there's quite a lot of original Xbox games I'd like to play. And a lot of people think this is emulation is piracy. Emulation is preservation, in my opinion. It's nice that Microsoft are doing their bit uh, for preservation. I think that's good and that should be commended. I will happily shit on Microsoft 
when they do something wrong, but when they do something well, they deserve to be commended for that. There are limitations to it, of course, uh, with Microsoft. Again, licensing being the issue, um, certain licensed games, uh, and again, games that just don't have publishers. Abandonware, really, uh, there's no one really to, to have the rights to the game because, again, if they want to sell it on online, they need the rights holder's permission to do that. So it's not always possible to do that. So that's why PC emulation is important. And I like that. I think it is important to preserve these games. Because bear in mind, the original Xbox, the, you know, it's 20 years old this year, the original Xbox. It launched in 2001. It's now 2021. Those, you know, those DVD drives, the hard drive in there, they're getting old. And, you know, hard drives tend to start failing. You know, hard drives don't last a good 20 years. Uh, so you know there there aren't really much options for the original Xbox. Once you you can you can buy another original Xbox, they're fairly cheap. But again, it's going to be you know nearly twenty years old. Uh, so it's nice that we have the option to to emulate the games and preserve these games. Uh, the whole I mean the original hardware, my Xbox still works fine. But you know I bought mine in two thousand and three, so it's you know it's it's eighteen years old this year. So it's getting, you know, it's getting on a bit in life. I went for the Halo Midtown Madness 3 bundle at the time, and that was what I bought um, with my first job that I got in 2003. So the original Xbox has great memories for me, and I want to preserve them. I want to preserve them. The only downside is that Star Wars Obi-Wan, currently not playable. Really disappointed in that one. Star Wars Obi-Wan not being playable. That is the best Star Wars game ever made, and I won't have anyone question that I really I'm not gonna have anything uh, anyone question that it's just the greatest Star Wars game ever made I couldn't do an emulation video as well without mentioning time splitters I just have to do it I want a modern time splitters game anyway that is all for this video so thank you for joining me and we'll see you again soon and goodbye